guys. So I am on the way to the grocery store before I go see a movie. Um, Kim doesn't like going to the movies with me. I like, I'm gonna go see Star Wars. She doesn't care. She doesn't get the adventure. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna go see Star Wars because I'm like two weeks late just cause holidays, comes out during the holidays. So I just didn't have time for that. That was the last thing I had time for. But yeah, so I'm gonna run to Vaughn's real quick and I need to pick up pumpkin puree. Just pumpkin and a can, I believe. But anyways, I'm gonna go do that and then Kim is gonna stay home and meal prep, which I super have been enjoying lately. The oatmeal, I think that's what she needs us for is the oatmeal. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. And then I think we're gonna go and pick up the kiddo later and i think when we pick up the kiddo later he'll want to show you guys something cool that he got for christmas i just got done doing some meal prep and i have to share it with you guys now i did not film this do not be disappointed i'm so sorry <laughs> if you are but i feel like i have showed a lot of this recently so i didn't want to be like super repetitive but i still want to give you the ideas but you know what i'm saying i didn't want to spend like the whole video uh <laughs> showing these uh being prepared but we got the tried and true for myself here the tofu scramble there's a little bit of nutritional yeast over top sometimes I cook it in into it or just put it over top whatever it doesn't matter and then of course my sweet potatoes air fried with the chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's simple I have like five of these throughout here I was trying to get that Instagram photo you know what I'm saying follow me over there <laughs> and uh, I also had some marinated tofu left still and so I went ahead and just uh uh, like pan fried that up real quick made some basmati white white rice here and uh, put a little bit of sesame seeds and pepper over top Nate can take that to work he loves that simple combo as do I made a bunch of just uh, veggie little platters here that we can have as snacks throughout the day when you just get the little munchies <laughs> and you're not really hungry. You know the one. I also went ahead and made a bunch of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You guys know we love to do that. I have more over there as well. These are great. You make them, put them in your freezer, and they're like Uncrustables, but keep the crust on because it's delicious. <laughs> so made a bunch of those, and it's a great way too if you have like a loaf of bread gonna go bad soon, do it and then again pop it in your freezer and you're good to go made a salad here uh with a little bit of barley and quinoa or i'm sorry farro and quinoa it was those little containers of um it came with like the little veggie top thing that you put over top of this little blend here and i told you guys i wasn't the biggest fan of them really i got them off of thrive market and i like the concept but i just didn't love it together Actually, in fact, I still have the, uh, this is the top that you're supposed to mix with it. It's okay, but they're perfect to use the grain for like salads. You know what I'm saying? So we, we're still using it. I just may or may not use this part. <laughs> but anyway, put that over some salad for Nate again to take to work tomorrow. Peeled up the rest of the oranges we had. Made another batch here of the pumpkin uh, instant pot or pressure cooker oatmeal, the steel cut oats. Nate loved this. He's all, this might be a new staple. Can you make me more? So good. This was so easy to make and it just fits perfect into that container, but this will feed him for the week. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, more sandwiches, more of this. Super simple. This probably took me, and being realistic, about three hours with me sitting down for about 45 minutes just to take a break because we got home from the gym and I was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Plus my kitchen was a disaster, so I had to clean that up as I went too. Anyway, put stuff away from Costco. Be sure you see that haul if you've missed it from earlier in the week. But really, in reality, it really didn't take that long. And I enjoyed it. I just threw on a couple movies, as I do. I'm having one of those days, though, where my face is like perma-red. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good workout this morning, uh, went in the steam room, and then just got home and did this. Now it's 3 o'clock. I'm going to put all this away. Go sit down. Huh? <laughs> well, that was supposed to be for later in the week. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I want it now. <laughs> yes. All right. Now I got to pick one because I'm done cooking. Well, I'll make you something if you want. You will? No, I won't. <laughs> I can pop one of those in the microwave. <laughs> I could do that for you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. 
Golly. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah, baby! Come on! How do you make it? So what you do is... Oh God! You take your tea bag and you put it in your little tea thing. And the reason for it being so important in doing it in here is is because then when you push the button on the bottom it'll come out in the middle and it won't mess up the rimming job i do hey <laughs> <laughs> we're so stupid <laughs> you need a dog all right so take your milk frother add your milk add your milk this is soy milk Soy milk does amazing in here with like frothing up, but almond milk, it still will heat it up and it tastes delicious, but it like does not froth really at all. And he puts a few, oh, or a lot, that's good. I do that whole thing in sweet drop, but just in the milk. In the milk, uh, vanilla cream sweet drops. This is uh, the traditional medicinals tea. It's that echin echinacea, I think that's how you say it, echinacea plus tea. I love it, and I swear by it too, guys, for like flu season, it's awesome. Um, and they always put a cute little quote on here. Damn. Yeah, yeah. And then hot water, because you can make hot water come out of a cold oh, faucet. Awesome. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> It's late. It's late. I'm it's a. Tired. It's six. It's it's nearly six o'clock. <laughs> it is bedtime. We're on the backside of five here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then yeah, he'll steam that up for me. Got to give it a little bit of time, Kevin. <laughs> give it some time, Kevin. <laughs> Steep away. Sure, Jan. And then you take your coconut sugar. This is the vanilla one. Now, I'm not using all of this, but we'll pour it back in. But it's just easier to like have a good amount. All right, so the secret is you actually dry the rim really well. Okay. Okay. And I know this can be a little messy, but you take agave syrup. Oh, that's right. <laughs> take agave syrup and you just put a little bit on your finger and just do this little number and you kind of drag it and you'll clean that up later. And that's what you use on the rim. And then it really sticks to it. Yeah. So do it right there. And you just gotta kinda keep going until it starts to do just a little bit of drippage. I like some drippage. Then you start your frother. Ooh, I love this thing, I'll link it below. All right. You take this. And dip. Don't put it all the way down. And then you go like this. Ah. And keep rolling and then you just kind of push it around a little bit. I don't even like sweet tea, but I love it because it just it's so good together with like hot tea and then that on the top is cool. it's so yummy. Yeah. And these paper flimsy plates are perfect for this because they bend <laughs> and then just put your sugar back. Yeah. Put it right over the top, take your spoon. Technically, you set it right on top of the mug and it'll go pour out, but you don't want to mess up the rim. Now, the steam does kind of like melt some of this, but that's okay. It's delish. Clean up the outside for Instagram. For the old Instagram. There you go. Look how frothy. It's so good. Look at that. And it's vanilla flavored because of um, the sweet drops. It's good. Mm. It's a nice little treat. Oh yes. And then sometimes he'll make a little heart shape on top for me with the sugar, which is really sweet. You're an artiste. With big hands. <laughs> big old gorilla hands. Ah, I didn't do it. Ah, well. that's I okay. messed up, I feel. That's okay. <laughs> you just do that and that's right. That's the Nate latte, the tea latte. There it is. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>
It is raining like crazy right now, kind of nuts out there. <laughs> but I just got home from the gym and guys, oh my goodness, EB and Jose, well, EB made these. Let's let's keep it real. She's the cook. But <laughs> she made these beans homemade, you guys. And you would think that like beans would just be beans. Like how good can they really be? This is incredible. Like Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm heating up because I'm starving today. I really am. It's 10 a.m. This is stuck. Oh no, hold on. There we go. Uh, I'm heating up the last bit of the meal prep I have of the tofu scramble and the potatoes, which I gave them one of these yesterday to try and they loved it. And uh, I'm going to put some of these, even though they're cold, I don't even care. Um, <laughs> I was already eating them with, like this and it was everything mix it in I don't care these are so so good oh my gosh oh my goodness she's like save some for Nate I don't know EB <laughs> I don't know so yummy so that is breakfast today I'm gonna I always do my hot sauce with it but I may not because I don't even think it needs it but yeah, they love the scramble. They're all about tofu, which is so awesome because so many newer people to the lifestyle in general, like they just don't like love tofu because it's a little bit different and the texture and everything. They're loving it, which is so cool. Um, and, and I had last week I mentioned to you guys that they're doing like a 21 day uh eating like vegan and clean and they're doing it even better than us. <laughs> no sugar, nothing. But I really appreciate these beans. This is going to be a delicious breakfast because I'm starving. It is time. Let's give it a shot. I'm all red as I am when I come home from the gym, right? Oh my gosh. I'm so hungry. I didn't eat a ton yesterday and it's catching up. Mmm. So good. I was planning on going to that coffee shop. You guys know I love get a lot of work done. I have my bag packed even and take some photos. I'm one of those now, <laughs> but uh, for Instagram even. But you know what? The weather, because it's not easy to park there. So I don't want to get all my stuff wet. I think uh, I might have to set up shop here and figure it out. Mm. It's a food dance. <laughs> okay. By the way, still taking these. I'm running low though. It's those immunity uh, little gummies by Hello Bello uh, from Walmart. And I love them. I still swear by them. I still take my Echinacea tea. And even if I don't do it like a latte like Nate showed. And I swear to you guys, like I'm not going to say I'm in, it's impossible for me to get sick because it's very possible but I haven't gotten sick all through vlogmas so far with the weather and everything. Haven't gotten sick. I swear by it. Mm, and those ones are cheap. Those immunity gummies are cheap. They're like 10 bucks and you get a hundred and or 75, but you only take one a day. So there you go. Mm, okay. I feel so special. Yes. This is so good. <gasps> okay. No, and I'm making something else for you. Oh my gosh. Oh, soy ceviche. What? Yeah, she's going to make ever, that. Have you ever... Oh, oh man. I am in have heaven. Have you ever had this? No. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I've seen this, but I have not had okay, it. I'm going to make it for you. <gasps> yes. It's so good. Oh it's my gosh. It's so neat. Oh my God, where'd you get it? Mexican store. My that means, in English, that means I am meat. I am meat. I am meat. Okay, so what is this called? This is called chilaquiles. Ch okay, well, do it again. Chilaquiles. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Usually you would have your queso fresco, which we this have tofu This is tofu, now. okay. You have oregano leaves. You put that on the top, just a little bit on top. And then you got onions, so you put that on top. I'm too. supposed to be cooking for you since you're new to this vegan yeah. world. And look, look oh, at this. Very easy. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> These beans are the ones I showed you guys yesterday. Yeah, I already vlogged the beans you gave me, Evie, because they were everything. But she, now we made them like refried beans. Oh my goodness. And then Jose over here, like, what? He made this carrot juice. And I normally don't do that. And it was delicious. My goodness. Okay. Oh my gosh. Homemade corn tortillas. Cause Evie loves me. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. 
Thank you, friends. Yes. Hello, my friends. I just got home from Sprouts and getting everything put away, and I'm starting to crash. <laughs> I, I actually went to the gym this morning with Jose, and you put us together alone. It's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. But we did uh, six and a half miles on the treadmill and then like more on the elliptical is terrible anyway but i'm kind of tired now i'm kind of like uh. but tomorrow which unfortunately is going to be when you're seeing this so i have to wait till next week to share it with you but i am making them food now finally um and i'm gonna do some chipotle bowls now i'm gonna show you everything because i'll give you a little sneak peek but I'll show you uh, everything on the Sprouts haul tomorrow, but then I'll have to wait till the next vlog to show you the Chipotle bowls. I'm gonna do the sofritas. Uh, like that's my inspiration and I hope I can do this. I'm feeling good about it, we'll see. But I'm getting everything put away now and I'm actually gonna head over, like I said earlier, I think in the vlogs, I still haven't, and it's been days, uh, to that coffee shop that I really, really love and get some of this work done. So. Anyway, they are coming over though uh, tomorrow, again, Sunday, when this goes up and we're gonna get down in the kitchen. We'll see what happens, but yeah, we'll see. But I actually just got a knock on the door and it just came in the mail and I thought I would share it with you this month's uh, Sips By box. You guys know I've been sharing it the last few months with you guys. Um, it's a tea subscription service box that you get monthly. It's awesome. I am a coffee lover, I really am, but I'm also a tea lover. I, I love it. That's pretty much what I live on, coffee and tea. I love this box. Plus it's super affordable. It's like $15 a month. And if you use my coupon code, you get your first one for $5 off. So it's only like 10 bucks. It's really, really cool. Plus it's customized to you. Let me show you. When you sign up, you get to put, and it's made directly for you, what kind of teas you want to try. Whether it's loose leaf, caffeine free, caffeinated, all of the above. You can cho choose to have whatever it is you like. Um, if you only like to have herbal teas versus black teas or green teas, uh, again, up to you. So that's really cool. So you'll set up your profile when you sign up. I love it. Uh, myself personally, I don't really care. I like it, trying everything. So uh, we also have a tea maker by Tivana. And so for loose leaf tea, I will definitely use that. But look at this chocolate candy cane tea. Come on now. Look how good that looks. Yeah, and it always tells you like how to make it, especially for like the loose leaf ones. Uh, but if you do not have a tea maker, they also always include like in every single box, these uh, disposable little tea bags in here. So you can put the loose leaf in here and then steep it that way as if it was already in like a tea bag, you know? So that's really cool too. It comes with like 10 of those, I believe. And then we got this tea kitten, minty mojito mate. Oh, that sounds really good. Four servings in here. You get a lot. Uh, the Rubos, how do you say it? Ru Ebos, Rubos, you can see it. Pi Spice chai, I love chai, I love it. And some Earl Grey, I'll probably give this to my mom. My mom loves Earl Grey tea. Uh, you get a bunch of them, four of those in here. Uh, more of those chais as well. Yeah, and it kind of talks about different ones in here. It's really cool. I like it. I just really recommend it. If you are a tea lover, which I know a lot of you are, which is what like drew me to this box to begin with when they reached out to me, I was like, yeah, I know a lot of you guys love tea and I want to be able to share uh, what you can get month to month just to try out new things. But yeah, I will have it linked below for you guys. I'm going to head out, get all my stuff packed up get some work done but I probably will wrap up this vlog for you guys I feel like it was a little all over the place but that's kind of fun <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will definitely see you guys tomorrow have a good Don't day guys you know the